Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I even learned Swedish, like a little bit of Swedish. Oh really? Yeah. What, like what? Hermadu. Wow! Hermadu. Ja, man, bra. Should we take the entire interview in Swedish? No. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and to another interview with one of my dear friends and YouTubers. This time it's Prasi. Canadian YouTuber. Yeah. Has lived in Taiwan for how long? Three years, I think. Three years. Before we start with the, the real question here, where's Alan? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't show this to you is guys. That, is this coming up on, on Alan's YouTube or Instagram anytime soon? I, I highly doubt it. Just quickly walk us through, like, what can we see on, on your channel? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Just giving Taiwan a little bit more promotion to a Western audience so that hopefully they can get the recognition they need to attain the goals that I think that they're trying to get. That was a lot more deeper than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, I surprised myself there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a video previously. I don't know if it was yours or, or Wes's channel. It was definitely mine because I've never been on Wes's channel that Sorry, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, come on, man. Why are you not it's, inviting him? It's actually not his fault because... <laughs> Last weekend I went to Kaosho to go film with him. We just ended up getting absolutely hammered. <laughs> so it's not as felt like I went all the way to Kaosho. I brought my camera and my microphone. He had his big ass bag, the same one you do with all his lenses and everything. And then we just went right to the bar. But I had the greatest time. I love Wes so much. Well, in that case, it must have been your channel. And and Wes Davies, mm -hmm. the f referring to you as the most honest YouTuber in Taiwan. It's very raw. It's very like... Maybe. Like, I, I think about things quite a bit before I say them. Because otherwise... Oh, really? <laughs> the sponsors, which are a really big source of income, they're looking for that positive energy that, that this is amazing and hey guys, I'm so excited to share this place with you. Not at the Taj Mahal, all right? It's a glass shoe. Tone it down. Hey, I made a videos about a glass shoe. I know, I was with you. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. I was like, I gotta make this shit look good. You're Canadian, you yeah. have lived in China, now you live in Taiwan. Like, yeah. just what made you move to China and then later what made you move to, to Taiwan from China? It was so long ago, I almost like forget the reasons, but I just went there. I didn't. I don't remember why I went. I had an okay time in China. Like when I, I, I lived in Henan and then I moved down to Guangzhou and met some great friends. And, and China like is a place, it really wears you down. It's a real test of your character. And I, I mean that in, in, in the worst way possible. And all my friends were gone and I just had me. This, empty feeling that China has. There's just, it's nothing. And it's like fake when you're there. But then other people were saying, you know, well, the Taiwanese people don't think that. And got on the plane, landed in uh, Taoyuan. It just felt so good to be out of China and in a place like Taiwan. And we talked about this, you and me as well, down in uh -huh. Kenting, that it, it just feels like a summer camp, you know? Like you never yes. grow up, like time just stops. stops. I, when I came to Taiwan, I was 21 years old. I'm still 21 years old, you know? And then when I came home like the second time, all my closest friends have kids. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I'm just sitting there, it's like, I'm still sharing my Netflix account with Yuen Yuen, you know, yeah. and like I am so far away, and that's just, that's scary, dude. Because you should grow up and you should take responsibility. Yes. Every time I go to work, you know, one of my students does something stupid. I'm like, you are the reason I don't reproduce. So I don't know when. I, it's it's a really scary question. It's like I, I, a hundred thousand subscribers would be f insane. I never thought I could do that. But if I have a f kid, there's no. Why am I attaining those goals? Don't you think that just having a kid for your channel would be like amazing though? Just like being like a- That's a good point, but that's not <laughs> really a good reason to have children. I'm not saying you should get a kid because <laughs> of the views. I'm no, just, you're not wrong. I'm, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think, I think a lot of I'm people- just, I totally just, just agree. Just like replace Alan with a smaller baby. That's it. I, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember the question. <laughs> Okay, so next question. What would you say is like the biggest difference between the daily life in China, daily life in Taiwan? They had to shovel coal in a university so I could get hot water. What? And I remember there was a, a boy, I don't know how old he was because he was covered in like soot. And he would just shovel f coal in this chimney to like power the hot water. Nobody wears helmets when you're riding. There's no, it's just anything goes. Like there's no laws really, unless there is in the, like the worst way you know like if you do something really bad which is another reason I, I kind of left because having a YouTube channel criticizing China in China is a stupid idea <laughs> what if we we flip it then is there anything that actually was better in China food <coughs> but Taiwan does have uh, a greater access to international cuisine nice save yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest surprise coming to Taiwan that's so beautiful yeah holy 
There's no way that the general Taiwanese is traveling around Taiwan more than the general foreigner living in Taiwan. I feel like we're actually yeah, utilizing right. all the benefits yeah. of, of having such a small, 100% just beautiful country, you know? I think you're right. So different from my Gorge is like straight out of a fairy tale. This is amazing! Like, why is not this people know this? What the f***? Can I get another gin and tonic good. while you yeah, absolutely. get yourself together? And I think this is a good time to remind you to like this video, subscribe to both our channels, and then if there is an ad break coming up, please watch my ads a little bit longer because every extra second you're watching my ads will give me a little bit more income so I can continue making videos like this week after week. Okay, so we're halfway through the program and it's now time for... It was half? It's halfway, you're talking so much I'm for every so single question. Sorry. I need to edit and cut so much of this video to keep it like within 10 minutes. So now it's time for 10 quick questions with Pros. Oh, perfect. Bubble milk tea or normal milk tea? Bubble milk tea. Taiwanese breakfast or Canadian poutine? <laughs> poutine, are you kidding me? Scooter or MRT? Scooter. Taiwanese waterfalls or Canadian mountains? Never been to a Canadian mountain, so I guess Taiwanese waterfalls. How about a Canadian waterfall and a Taiwanese mountain? I've never been to a Canadian waterfall, so a Taiwanese mountain. <laughs> there's nowhere for the water to fall from if there's no mountains, Lucas. <laughs> you have like Niagara Falls. Come on, man. Oh, that, is a, that is a nice waterfall. You, have, you literally have like the world's most famous waterfall. Come yeah. on. Night market or KTV? Night market, 100%. What's your, what's your favorite thing at a Taiwanese night market? Beer. Beer or Gaoliang? Beer. Dude, they were going to sponsor me, but I said I hated... <laughs> so I lost the sponsorship. <laughs> For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, it's the worst shit I've ever had. And they're like, well, I guess. <laughs> Dude, come on. You've never even had it because you don't drink. I don't drink, no. Have you I... smelled it though? I've smelled it, but I mean, beer doesn't really smell that good to me too, so. Working in China or working in Taiwan? <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> you're going to get me in trouble? <laughs> it, it, it hit me. I... <laughs> I like working in Taiwan more because there are rules and there are people there. You're held accountable for things. I'm a bit lazy, <laughs> and so I fit in more with the Chinese crowd. Um, so yeah, I find it difficult to work with Taiwanese people. They are they don't stop. I'll make a video about it. Go to my channel and I'll I'll try to clear that one up. Ooh, but it's a nice uh, really good segue. Question, yeah. Taipei versus Taichung. Taipei. So why do you live in Taichung then? Because Alan lives there. <laughs> Aww. So, you're, so you're, you're saying that if, if Alan would move to Taipei, you would just follow in a heartbeat? Taipei is a bit expensive, that's the thing. I don't know how the hell you afford to live here, dude. Watch my ads, people. Watch my ads a little bit longer, and then I can afford to live here for hopefully one more month. Yeah, least. dude, your rent is like more than double mine. To be fair, one of these microphones is more expensive than your rent. Hot pot versus barbecue. I never, I didn't like hot pot at first, but now I'm starting to kind of really like it. I, I like barbecue more, but hot pots... Oh, really? I like that malata. Who is the worst roommate? Alan or Prosy? Alan, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Oh, you, no doubt. you definitely would answer the same. Canadian beer or Taiwanese beer? Canadian beer. If people are gonna watch only one Prosy video, which video should they watch? I don't know. Why would they just watch one? If you could bring one thing from Canada to Taiwan or something that you feel Taiwan is missing, what would you bring over here? Did, did Alan say was it was his was the driving one? Yeah. A little bit of common sense when it comes to drive <laughs> when it comes to driving. <laughs> Just cut, cut. No, 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 no. You know when you see like a cave of bats and the bats are all flying around like and it looks like madness, right? But the, the bats never hit each other, right? Yes. But then if you threw a pigeon in there, like a British pigeon into that cave, the pigeon would cause murder, it'd cause havoc, and all the bats would hit the pigeon. So that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm a pigeon in a bat cave. But he's a little bit wrong because he said that, you know, bats in a bat cave fly around, they never hit each other, but Taiwanese people are constantly hitting each other, dude. Like, okay, I'm gonna say it, and you can choose whether you wanna put it or not, but I'm just gonna say it. No, I can't say it. I'm, I'm, so, okay. Say it. So, okay. Say it. <laughs> you know, you watch like Taiwanese people driving around, right? You know, they're just crashing into shit all left, right, and center. All right, last week some dude flipped his car in front of me. It was insane, right? And then I watched F16 fly by, right? And I'm like, there's a Taiwanese guy flying that thing. <laughs> you know? I'm like, how the did he do that? And you can't even make your car go the right way up. Like, that doesn't make any 
any sense. Yeah, I agree with Alan. I, I really wish that people had a little bit more patience on the road and a little bit more common sense, yeah. What is a video that you really, really want to make on your channel? I want to learn um, how to cook Taiwanese food, so I'm going to go to like the, the market and try to buy all the ingredients and stuff. Then I'm going to cook it in my kitchen. Um, I live around a lot of old people. and um, Alan? <laughs> Let them eat it, and then if it's good or not, and, and that's the video. That sounds super interesting, actually. Yeah, like a celebration of Taiwanese cuisine and me trying to learn about it. So if that is something that you want to see, make sure to head over and subscribe to his channel, and hopefully we will have some delicious cooking shows, cooking videos coming up. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? I hope that a lot more people have found you now, uh, and actually go over and check out a few of your videos as well. So I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time coming here, having this, this chat, and thank you you so much for watching this video and again please make sure to like this video subscribe to both our channels and then also share this video with someone who may not have seen Prosy before or who wants a little bit more information about Canadian life Chinese life and Taiwanese life from a foreigner's perspective my name is Lucas starts with L as in like ends with S as in subscribe please do both and see you all in the next one do you want to try what the ending uh <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs>